All right, folks, I have to read this article, and I have no idea how in the world I missed it when it came out. I wasn't aware of it, and it, I just, this is crazy. But look at this article. It says, concerns grow as Russia launches Iranian satellite into orbit. I can tell you this right now. The mainstream media wasn't talking about this, and this was very, very, very hidden, okay? There was an Iranian satellite. Uh, I believe the name of it, I have to remember, it's Chayam that was launched in a Soyuz rocket, uh, and this was on the 9th of August, and it was very quiet. Nobody was really talking about it, and I'm kind of blown away uh, by that. This is amazing. Let me read the beginning of this article. This article is uh, unbelievable. I'm going to provide some commentary here, and the concern that everybody has, I think, is... Um, Worthy. I mean, it's. I think it's good concern, but there's a bigger picture here that we have to talk about, right? Notice what the article says. It says Russian authorities on Tuesday oversaw the launch of uh, launch from Kazakhstan of an Iranian satellite named Hayum into orbit. The launch comes just weeks after Russian President Vladimir Putin and Iranian leader Khomeini uh, pledged to cooperate against the West. Listen to that. Iranian Information and Communications Technology Minister uh, Issa Zarpour, who attended the launch, stated the development marked the beginning, here's the quote, beginning of strategic cooperation between Iran and Russia in the space industry. Understand that, folks. Look what they go on to say. This is his quote. This is that uh, uh, agricultural minister. He's saying this. He says, or this is the technology minister, sorry. Uh, he says the high-resolution images taken by Hayum could be used to improve the space applications in the country in the environmental and agricultural sectors. Well, that's what they say, but it really is military sectors. And the bigger issue that we need to be pointing out here is the first portion of that quote, right? It is the beginning of strategic cooperation between Russia and Iran in the space industry. Understand this, folks. Understand that Ezekiel chapter 38 and 39 does not get this wrong. Ezekiel chapter 38 tells us that there is going to be a conglomerate of nations that are going to come against Israel, and they will be led by the leader, presumably of Rosh. His name is Gog, or his title is Gog. We don't know who his name will be. Some people think it's Putin. That might very well be the case. But here's the thing. He's going to lead a group of nations against Israel, and one of the main nations named here is Iran. Folks, a lot of people said for a long time there's no way Russia and Iran get along to do anything of a sort, especially after what happened in Afghanistan. But understand this. It's all coming together. God's word is true, and he never gets it wrong. Maybe we take up an advantage to take an opportunity to acknowledge that God is real and start living for him when we notice these things happening. Folks, Right now is the time to fight the good fight. Right now is the time to stand up for righteousness. And right now is the time to get ready because understand this, and this is undoubtedly true, Jesus is coming soon. Keep your eyes open, folks, because it's happening, and it's happening sooner than you think, and it is time that we get our lives right and we look to him because I don't know about you, but when Christ comes back for the church, I want to be caught doing the work of God not walking away and being lax lackadaisical considering the times. It's time to keep our eyes on him, folks. God bless you.